So now we got the closed guard with this overhook. So that's where we're going to start. Typically when um, I have like an overhook, they're, they're very weary of what I'm going to do with this arm. Because if I push it out, then I can jump rope over to go triangle. So as soon as I grab it and start pushing out, he's going to bring it back in. So see how he has it kind of just placed on my body here? I'm going to go thumb down, wrist control, and I'm going to keep this overhook tight. And I'm just going to start pushing it right into his sternum there. And then I'm going to jump over this arm. So I go here, let that go. And my hips need to go up high because if I go here, his arm's still kind of in there and it's going to be trouble. So when I start to push it, I go open and then this foot goes on the hip, I go high. Even if it does end up in there, I can work it out. But I go here, cross. All right. I'm going to, after I cross my feet, pop my hips, pull this across. Grab the false triangle. So I'm grabbing the shin that's over his shoulder and going foot on the hip. If I just do that, foot on the hip and start making my angle, he's going to posture and get away. But when I grab that shin, now if he tries to posture, it's going to slow him down. It might not stop him completely, but it's at least going to slow him down. So you go here, foot on the hip's gonna help me cut my angle. So square, like I have long enough legs, I can lock it in, but sometimes you're not gonna be able to. So when I cut the angle, I can lock it in nice and tight. So try not to hold on to it as I'm talking for Ivan out, but. <laughs> Once I lock it in, I'm gonna scoop under the leg and I'm gonna squeeze everything in tight. So you go here, and it's pressing this shoulder into this carotid and my thigh is hitting this carotid. So it's cutting off the blood to your brain. All right, so back to close guard with the overhook. So here, I'm gonna go, he's keeping this arm safe. So I'm gonna go thumb down, grab the wrist. This is one where you can use your thumb. You don't wanna, the monkey grip's not gonna be as effective, but just use those fingers. So I am gonna grab this time. So grab it. So it goes on the hip, pop, hips go up high, and then I cross. Personally, I don't care where this arm is, but it does help to pass it across. So that's the way we're gonna do it. So just pass it across my body, grab that shin, foot goes on the hip, cut my angle. So I'm looking straight at him. I'm gonna cut the angle to where I'm looking into his ear now. Lock it in. I can hook under the arm, I can hook under the leg. And one more time, we'll hook. So even though the arm's in there this time, I'm still gonna go through the process. At this point, that's when I'm gonna start digging that arm out. It goes on the hip, lock it. There's a lot of fine details to the triangle choke but the more you wrap it out, the more you can get the feeling if something isn't right. Any questions? <laughs> All right, on three. One, two, three. 